Good evening, everyone. People are unstoppable when they come together, and we've seen that over and over again in the Tri-State. And we have another example for you tonight. It's a story about a family facing homelessness who we told you about a few weeks ago. Because of you, they now have a new place to call home. Here's Angela Ingram. And this is my beautiful kitchen that I absolutely just love. A house isn't a home until there's love in it. This trailer in Liberty Township was just built this year. Now Kimberly Miller and her three children live here. I was excited. I actually cried. Kim, Isaiah, Sethia and Tobias just moved into Countryside Village. It's roughly 10 miles away from the mobile home in Mason they recently left. But if you look at where the family was living and where they're living now, it's light years away. Everything's up to date. You know, I can wash my kids' clothes now. That's a big excitement. So I don't have to go to school with something dirty. The children's father passed away, so she's the primary caregiver. Kim was faced with choosing between homelessness and the mobile home in Mason. It had been built in 1955 and hadn't been updated. I have to worry about them being sick all the time because of the mold in their old trailer. I don't have to worry about the floors falling in. Worry about my babies going through the bathroom floor. That was a big, very big worry. A volunteer with St. Vincent de Paul set up a GoFundMe to get the family a new trailer. And within a day, people poured in thousands. And like I said, I wouldn't have been able to do it without the donations and all the support behind me. I'm very blessed and thankful for it. And I hope one day that I can return the favor and start doing it for other people. The trailer on the corner is now filled with laughter and smiles. Kimberly and her family are finally at home. I didn't realize how many good people were still out there. You know, like I said, I was starting to lose hope. And, but prayer works. It really does. The rest of the family's furniture will be delivered Friday. The kids are starting in a new school district. Kimberly says they will miss the support they got in Mason schools, but the kids are excited to start a new chapter. Rob